Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the world's first fishing. I'm just doing a little, uh, you know, just just a little chalk art on my uh, driveway. Nothing out of the ordinary. I totally didn't buy this chalk just for this video. I do this all the time. Uh, it's just something, you know, one of my favorite arts and crafts. Uh, no, I'm totally kidding. But check this out. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really, really good. You know, and, and we might could even uh, we might could even draw draw a bait, right? Yeah, let's draw a swim bait. Yeah, here we go. This is gonna look silly. <laughs> there's, there's the eyeball. Yeah. Look at this. Lure art, baby. All right, let's start the show. All right, everybody, so welcome back to the fish cave. This looks a little bit more familiar than my driveway. And uh, <clears throat> today's video is gonna be a fun one. I have not tested this. Uh, I have no idea if it's gonna work. Um, so hopefully, today we're gonna be making some soft plastic lures using sidewalk chalk. Just your regular chalk that we all used as kids. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try to use this as the pigment okay so we're gonna be grinding this up okay and just trying to powder it as best that we can <laughs> oh gosh and then mixing this into our hot liquid plastisol and hopefully things go well uh, there's actually some really great colors in here so we're about to like hop on the table here and show you what's in here but uh, if this works, I think we can make some really cool stuff. Uh, so this is the Sidewalk Chalk Soft Plastic Bait Challenge. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and here we go. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see it's mostly like pastel sort of colors. Um, Easter colors is what this looks like to me. These, these look like Easter eggs. <clears throat> um, but, you know, immediately we have some, you know, basically some white. You know, some yellow, some, some light pink, several different purples here, some, some blues, some darker blue. That's, that might look the same on camera, but it's not quite. <clears throat> some greens, like I said, more purples, sort of like a strawberry red, some orange. So, all in all, there's quite a few good options here. Um... I can already see some swim bait colors coming to mind. <laughs> oh boy, what to do first. I think we're just going to start with some basic injection first. And what color do we want to do? We're going to go with this green. Okay, so we have a little stone mixing bowl here. And we'll just start with that much at first. All right. Come on, break apart. So basically, we're just gonna be hand powdering this stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna be dealing with. So basically, I'm just gonna be grinding this stuff up. And it's actually, uh, it's actually powder, powdering up very easily, which which is good. I don't want to be sitting here for 20 minutes on each color trying to get it to powder. Because that would take all day and I don't have all day. Or all night, even. I can't, can't be out here filming all night. All right. Yeah, so that's actually powdering up fairly well. into a nice looking pigment. So, now I just gotta think, what am I gonna add to this? Again, this is what I want my pigment base to be. We can add regular pigment or add flake, add other powders. Um, I might just see what this looks like by itself first, but again, this is the pigment base. Um, the goal is not to just grind up the powder, mix it in the plastic and just run it. 
The goal is to see if we can use this as a base to make professional looking stuff. I have no idea how it's going to react in the plastic, but we're about to find out. And of course, on the world's first fishing, we use dead on plastics here exclusively. It is the Dom Perion of Plastisol, in my humble opinion. And uh, for today's video, I think we're mainly going to be running the Black Bucket uh, Swim Bait Blend. We might also uh, use some Crawd Tube Blend. And I don't know, I, I, guess, I guess we're feeling good. It depends on how well the chalk thing works out. It may not work at all. But we may also use some worms, um, or make some worms using the worm blend. But for right now, this is what our focus is. And the new vacuum uh, chamber is still going strong. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Uh, for those of you who watched this video, uh, it didn't get a ton of views, which I, I knew it wouldn't. It's, it's more of a, you know, that, that was much more of a niche audience type video. Um, but for those of you who were wondering, it is still doing well. Okay, let's see what happens, y'all. Uh, I have no idea. Probably a ton of moisture bubbles would would be my guess but you never know could work out quite quite well and of course i have no idea how much of this you're actually supposed to put in oh yeah we are bubbling something terrible i even kept the chalk inside my house so that it wouldn't sit out here and draw in moisture in my garage <laughs> I like the shade of green so far. It's kind of wanting to clump up a bit. So it may require a ton of mixing in to really get it in there right. Yeah, boy, that might. See, it's, it's wanting to clump like that. So we will do what we can. Obviously, if I have to start for five minutes, I'm not going to run the camera the whole five minutes, but we will meet you guys back whenever I have this stirred in a little bit better. Okay, so we uh, put it in the vac pot and uh, it's actually a really nice shade of green and it microwaves well. Sometimes you don't know how something's gonna react in the microwave. Um, it did not catch on fire or start sparking or anything like that. So I actually want a little bit more chalk pigment in there just to make it more green. So I'm probably going to have more bubble trouble and clumps, um, but I'm, I'm willing to suffer if I can get a little bit more pigment in there, a little bit more green. Okay, wow, you guys and gals, that actually looks incredible. Um, so we're just going to add some flake. All right. Some large black flake here, the .062. Alrighty, and then we're just gonna run some craws and creatures uh, Because I think that will actually look pretty decent in just a straight straightforward color such as this Yeah, it's looking mighty fine Alrighty, I'm gonna glove up and we're gonna hit them with the single injector All right, hopefully I have enough here. I'm not sure if I do. Nah, we'll have to stop there. It's all good. I really need another 10 ounce single injector. Okay, doke. It's actually kind of a neat color other than the clumps. Okay, let's see how the very first ever, at least that I know of, chalk pigmented soft plastic fishing lures look join me in a drum roll please let's see what happened I'm pretty sure these are ecto crawls i should really label my molds yes they are sweet well would you look at that that's killer Look at this. Eh. Wow. You get those clumps out of there, 
And those are as good looking as anything I've ever seen. Look at that. Freaking clump, get out of here. I'll tell you though, the shade of green is beautiful. Like just by itself, you know, and then you could darken it with some black. You could add uh, some green pigment to it. You could obviously experiment with different flake colors. Ha, <laughs> this, is, this is actually, this has worked out great. If you guys and gals that make baits at home, if you have some chalk laying around, maybe like your kids have some, definitely give this a try. So far, this seems to work better than makeup uh, and coffee for sure. Um, and probably, I don't know, this, this seems to be a little easier than even the Kool-Aid was. I'm really happy with that. Okay, and now let's look at these stingers real fast. Yeah, look at that. That's really good. This is a pretty shade of green. And again, except for those, except for those clumps, which really don't look bad, I would just prefer them not be there. I'm not sure how to solve that yet. But, uh, <laughs> and it's freaking gorgeous. Oh, I'm totally fishing with those. And since this seems to remelt pretty well, I'm going to remelt it. Um, I've, some of these crazy, you know, ideas in the past with, uh, you know, um, golly, what have I done? The Kool-Aid, coffee, etc. Um, they didn't, some of them would not remelt. Um, since these remelt, we're actually going to make a few more of those Ecto Crawls. And uh, I'll show those to you real fast, and then we're going to move on to something else. Yeah, and there's round two. Look at that. Man, how good is that angling AI ecto crawl mold? It can make chalk baits look absolutely sexy. So anyway, we're gonna stop there with the green and we're gonna move on to another color and I think we're gonna make some frogs. Okay, so check this out. That, this purple turned into that, which is, is, is crazy. Now, that looks nothing like it. The green looked exactly like it was supposed to. But this is actually the Dead On Plastics Craw Tube Blend, a little firmer, and I wanted to use, obviously, chalk as the base pigment, because that's what we're doing today. But now I'm gonna add a little bit of black grape and see to what extent that changes things. So let's mix that in. Should darken it up and purple it up a bit. Yeah. Okay, it's not looking bad. Maybe a little bit more. It's starting to look uh, lavender, sort of. Let's uh, try and get a little closer here. Oh yeah. It still has that base color though. So uh, if I, if you just kind of look at it like that, it still looks a lot like the, uh, like the original color. And now we're basically just gonna turn this into June bug with some green flake. So I love a June bug frog. So this should look pretty cool, I think. I'm uh, still still just amazed at, at how well this chalk is actually working. I mean, this is, this is honestly not too bad. I definitely want more black grape though. I don't want to completely hide the whole chalk look since that kind of negates the purpose. But, uh, wow. Hey, I've seen worse June bugs than that uh, on the shelves at friggin' Bass Pro Shops. Okay, here we go. Sidewalk Chalk June Bug Florida Frogs. This is my custom frog mold. So if you haven't seen it before, uh, definitely want to stick around to get a look at this thing. Very proud of this frog. It's one of my favorite baits that I make. And, uh, and I throw them all the time. Should have enough for both of these. Should. Nope, we did not. What the heck? It's like this injector holds less plastic now than it friggin' used to. I don't understand that. All right, we're gonna regroup and do this mold separate because I want both dang molds. All right, let's look at some froggies. Oh. Yes. Definitely using those. And this uh this pink stuff or the the purple stuff 
did not clump up as much. So I'm really happy about that. And this looks a lot like how I would make June bug regularly. Um, it's a little lighter though because of the uh, chalk. So, I mean, this is as good as it gets right there. You, I, I would have no idea that there was more chalk pigment in that than actual <laughs> lure making pigment. So I'm really impressed. Okay, and there's both molds worth right there. And uh, this is, like I said earlier, this is a complete custom frog. Even has my company initials there in the tail. L-I-T-L. Beautiful artwork designed by my brother-in-law. Hook slot on the bottom. She's a bad little mama. Okay, so we have three cups of plastic currently cooking. It's dead on plastic uh, swim bait blend because we're gonna do some open pours with our chalk. So I have already powdered down three different colors. These are gonna be the base colors. So that's gonna kind of be like our white pearlish belly. Probably gonna do a red bloodline and then a blue top. So it'll kind of look like the French flag or, or, or whichever flag it is. Um, <laughs> so red, white, and blue there. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see it. I might add some flake here or there, um, but we're gonna be using the uh, Angling AI four inch open pour mold. And uh, I think it's gonna look really cool. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to be like a phenomenal swim bait color, but hey, I mean, considering that it came out of that, I think it's going to be pretty fun. All right, so uh, let's see what happens here. I guess I actually need, okay, the white, the white chalk is going over here. All right, so we're going to add that in. Red chalk is gonna go in the middle, middle cup there. And then our top will be this cup right there. All right, and we'll just kinda of see what happens there. Move things over a bit. And uh, we'll just go ahead and stir in the first one here. As y'all know, this is gonna require Quite a bit of stirring on my part to get these uh, to get these all all correct because it it does want to clump up like like we've already seen. Oh wow, look how orange that turned. That turned straight orange. Okay, that's not red at all anymore. That's straight orange. This is going to be ugh, now it's going to be gator colors, orange and blue. Ugh. Didn't mean for that to happen. I love how the blue stays the exact color. This one changed immediately. Like as soon as it hit that heat, it was no longer red. That is straight up gators right there. Which means we're gonna have to add some red to that because we're not going we're not doing gator colors here. Now that looks much better. We are, however, going to add a little bit of flake. So we're gonna add some small black flake just to the bottom. Not a lot. Just like putting pepper on your food. You don't want to overdo it, but you still love it. So that's how we're going to do this bottom color. If I can get it to... What I've noticed is that once you let this plastic sit, any of those clumps will actually sink to the bottom. So that's, that's not good for flake because you need your flake to be stirred in and suspended. But those clumps really sink to the bottom pretty fast. And then for our top blue, we're gonna add just a little bit of medium size black flake. So keeping it, keeping it relatively simple here because I don't know how any of this is gonna work out. Okay. And so there's our, uh, there's our three colors. Okay, we're gonna take this and pour a few bellies. Hopefully this looks decent. Okay, there's our belly color. And we're just gonna do this, obviously, for each cavity. Hopefully these don't look terrible. Little bit of bubbles going on, but that's okay. This stuff is hard to keep bubbleless. 
It's hard to get bubbleless to begin with. But that old vacuum pot does a good job. So anyway, we're going to pour the rest of these bellies. Then we'll move on to the uh, red vein. Alright, and now it's time for just a few veins. So I'm going to try to do this right on camera. Yeah. There it is. There's our red vein. Going right down to the tail, right where we want it. Yeah, I think these might actually look pretty good, you guys. For such a crazy concept here. And one of you gave me this idea. This was a subscriber idea. I am... I, I cannot in good faith claim that this was my idea. But uh, anyway, we're going to fill in the rest of these veins and uh, finish these bad boys off. Alright, and now to fill in a few of them. Again, I'm not going to show you all of them. Yeah, not bad. Ah, just slightly overpoured it. No. Thought I was past that. Thought we were better than that. So anyway, I love how you can see the red still through that blue. You can tell where the tail starts. That's such a cool effect. And what that tells me is that my saturations are actually really good. If the blue was so thick that you really didn't see that red shadow down there, I feel like your bait's not going to look as good as you want it to. Okay, there they are, all poured in a row. And uh, we'll meet you back whenever they're done. And uh, then we'll take a look at everything that we did today. And I have to say, uh, sidewalk chalk is a awesome success for making lures. This, aside from the clumping, um, this has been probably my favorite uh, stupid thing that, that I've done. I've put some really dumb things in Plastisol before, but I, I, I'm pretty confident that this has actually worked out better than the other ones. <laughs> this is totally going to be thumbnail. There is stuff everywhere, but this, to me, really encompasses what happened here today. And uh, we, are, we have not yet demolded those. They're still cooling off a little bit. Um, so anyway, we are going to clear all of this out. Then we're going to take a final look at those swim baits. And uh, then we're going to sign this one off. Okay, come on down. Let's see what these look like. I have a feeling they're going to look really good. So we, we are going to give them an honor of a drum roll. Let's see how we did, folks. These are still pretty hot, these molds now. Ooh, oh, cow. Wow, look at that. It's almost, it's almost got a, 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 a rainbow troutish, sort of like a, uh, a um, oh, what do they call this color pattern? Like a, hmm, I can't think of the name. It's a lake in California. Maybe somebody in the comments can, God. guys, this was sidewalk chalk and flake that that's it actually i lied i added a little bit of mf red uh to that vein just to make it less orange that is absolutely stunning you know what let me go grab an eyeball and we're just going to put an eyeball on one of them so that you can see what that looks like all right got this eye here we're just going to drop it in there real quick no glue or anything right now i actually am going to put eyes on these the real way and probably offer these for sale at some point. Well, it's not in there perfectly, but <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. I am super surprised at how beautiful that is. That white, it's see, and, and it's not a white pearl, of course, but it's, it's sort of, it's sort of a cloudy see-through white belly. And to me, it looks just incredibly natural. I, I had no idea. These were gonna look this good. I mean, this is this is a color that I would like really try and make, like for real. Yeah, look at this. Wow. 
Okay, I actually decided to put them in some cold water because I really want to, to save these and cure them up right so that I can put eyeballs on them later and offer them for, uh, for sale to you guys. I, uh, I went ahead and got them in some freezing cold water. Um, that way they'll, they'll really set up right and get started on a good cure. But uh, man, <laughs> I am so impressed with that. I did not think it was going to look that good. So, awesome color, and uh, yeah, be on the lookout, y'all, on the World's Worst Fishing Instagram account for these baits. So, you'll see a post for eight, uh, I'll probably just call them sidewalk chalk swim baits. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be posting these exact baits for sale um, here in the next couple days, probably. So, be on the lookout for that. All right, everybody, prost, it is the return of the German beer to this channel. I know a lot of you have asked, hey, you know, uh, you don't drink beer on there as much. Well, I don't drink beer as much in general anymore, but uh, um, yeah, today's video turned out so good, okay? This was, this so went beyond my expectations. I got a Prost, this is my favorite beer. There it is right there. It's an Oktoberfest, Hockershore. I probably just butchered the pronunciation, so to any German viewers, who might be watching, uh, I apologies. So, prost everybody. Mm, 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 Deutsch beer. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you have some sidewalk chalk at home, you might wanna yank it from your kids, start pouring baits with it. That was actually really good. And what I like about the colors is sort of right at the beginning, right when we first opened them up, they were sort of like Easter egg pastel type colors they're not oversaturated and i think that gives them actually a really nice natural uh use especially in that swim bait that swim bait turned out bomb and had the colors been too bright and too thick it wouldn't have looked that good so i'm impressed thank you all for watching please subscribe leave me comments down below let me know which ones were your favorite and of course we will see you next time on the world's worst fishing